So I have my cheap ESR meter here and I thought I'd do a quick video today and the subject of this one is how to calibrate the CSR meter and there's a couple different versions that are floating around eBay so I can't say for sure that this will work on all the different versions but the one I have here is uh, the Booster Edition uh, version 2.3 and the date on it is 2013-03-28 if you have one that looks similar I would almost guarantee they're all the same but but anyway I only really know for sure that it'll work on this one so give it a try it can't hurt anything so what you need to do is um, on my meter I have these sort of weird little posts and you put your component in like this so you just stick them in these holes then you press the test button so what we need to do is we need to short out the first terminal, second terminal, and the third terminal. So I just twisted a couple of pieces of wire together and these are just uh, end pieces off of a couple of capacitors. And you need to kind of hold your tongue the right way and try to get them in there. Alrighty, oops add it doesn't seem to want to go in this time around get the hell in there you stupid thing I think that's in there alrighty so now that that's in place just hold the test button and it'll go into the self uh, <coughs> into the self test mode and I try to hold it around the edges because since this doesn't have a casing around it you could touch something that's going to interfere with the test pretty easily so they do say that you can skip the test by holding down the test button but just in case it uh, screws something up and I don't do it quite right I just let it run through the test and you also need a hundred nanofarad or greater uh, capacitor so I have a, I think it's a 220 nanofarad if I'm not mistaken so once the self test is done to finish the calibration you have to put one leg of the capacitor in the first uh, terminal and then the second leg has to go into the third terminal which is exactly what this says on the screen so take that out uh, put in the capacitor and it'll go through a little bit more stuff and it should tell you um, at the end how big your capacitor is so it says that it's uh, 223.3 nanofarads which is pretty close to the 120 nano or the 220 nanofarads that I actually said that it was so now that it's uh, supposedly calibrated let's just uh, test this capacitor and see what it says um it says that it's 224 which is pretty darn close to what the calibration test uh, said that it was so that's not so bad and let's just uh, for the heck of it we'll uh, test a couple more capacitors this one is a 25 volt 470 microfarads so these are a little bit tricky to get in here so I do eventually plan on putting some binding posts on this thing. Uh, I guess I didn't have it quite in there. 
it is a little bit tricky. So what did I say that was? 470. Yeah, 466.9. That's pretty close. And this is a used capacitor, so I, you know, kind of expect it to be a little bit low. And let's see. I'll find a brand new one. If I have a brand new one right handy. Yeah, this one here is new. This is, no, that's not the new one, but we'll test this anyway, because I think, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure this is a bad one. So we'll just quickly test this, and I'll test a new one. And then I'll let you guys go, because uh, testing things on video is a little bit boring, so let's uh, get her done as quick as possible here. So yeah, this is a 220 nanofarad capacitor and it's reading 128.1. So it's definitely a bad one. And here's a brand new one. I did have that kind of installed in something then I decided to take it out. So it does have a little bit of solder on the legs, but it is brand new. And it's a 25 volt, 1,000 microfarads, and it's reading 949.0 microfarads, and zero with a question mark for the ESR. And I'm not sure if anybody knows. Is this a some kind of error? I don't really know myself. I I haven't been able to find any information. So anyway, I think that's probably good enough. Oh, before I go, I should show you guys this thing that I just got in the mail. It's nothing overly special, but uh, I thought it was a decent deal, so I figured I'd show you. So what it is, is uh, actually solder. searched around on eBay because solder is so damn expensive around here and uh, this isn't the best stuff in the world but I bought it before and it actually works okay so um, let's see if I can get this package open or maybe I can get it out without, without actually opening the whole thing so as you can see it's these little little packages like this and what it was was the guy was selling these things um, five in a lot and there's only I can't remember I think 26 grams of solder on each one whoa so uh, they were 99 cents for a pack of five, so I bought four of them. Let's see if I actually did get what I paid for. There's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Alrighty, so I did get what I paid for. So anyway, I'm going to go, and I just thought I'd show you that. It's a good deal.